we're looking for the transfer function when our input terminal pair is AB and the output is CD. We also need to write a standard or write as a ratio of polynomials in S using a unit coefficient on the highest order S term in the denominator. So let's first convert the circuit to the S domain. And so our input and output look like that. One fifth of a farad will look like one over one fifth times S. So that will be five over S. Similarly the impedance is L times S, so that's just S. Now we know that the transfer function is the output divided by the input. And a standard technique says set that to 1. So if we apply a unit input source, then our output voltage is simply H of S. So let me go ahead and draw, or actually draw the voltage source with unit value here. So doing that, we notice we've got our 5 ohm resistor in parallel with the voltage source, and that means that element can be removed. So the re remaining circuit can be analyzed simply by using a voltage divider. So we know that this is H of S. So H of S is 8. So that was this impedance, and then we divide by the series impedance seen by our source. So the total would be 5 over S plus 8 plus S. Next we want to put that in our standard form. Let me get a common denominator. Uh, I think at this point I'm going to erase the circuit just so I have a little more working space. Yeah, let me start over there. So in the denominator side of things we have 5 plus 8s plus s squared divided by that common denominator s. We have 8 up on top. Moving this s around up here, we have 8s divided by s squared plus 8s plus 5. So we have unit coefficient on the highest order polynomial. So there's our 